to my front room. I'm Noemi from Pigeon Art and today I'll be showing you how I turned this front room, which was a storage room, into a lovely sitting room. Before I jump into the video, I just want to say that I don't know anything about interior designs or different styles, so I just buy things that I like and that probably makes my house quite eclectic and that is fine by me. Mostly in this room we were storing wedding decorations and Luke and I were supposed to get married in April 2020 and because of Kobe we had to postpone until March 2021. So we still needed a storage solution for up until March this year. So I started working on this room around Christmas time before I decided I was going to start making YouTube videos again. So I don't have a huge amount of footage, but um, I'll make do with what I have. If you don't have much uh, in the way of storage and you have a fair bit of clutter, the best thing to do is to put up shelves, use the vertical storage system. Which is what we did, so we used a Canalex shelf. I like them because they're quite versatile. I had a lot of my decorations were in little boxes, so they just fitted straight into the cubes. And then the larger decorations, like my suitcases, would go on the top shelf. That got most things off the ground. We now had some space for a couch and a coffee table, which I found the coffee table on Facebook Marketplace. The guy had made it himself and I just really liked how unusual it was. With our quirky coffee table we needed a pretty statement couch. We really liked the Chesterfield couches. Um, the only problem was that they're quite expensive on even second hand. The cheapest we could sort of find was $1,000 for a couch and we were not willing to spend that kind of money. So we just kept an eye out uh, for a couple of weeks and then this couch came up for $500. We jumped on the chance to get it and cross Sydney uh, on a weeknight at uh, peak hour to get to Newtown to pick this one up. That's where we were until March this year when we got married. After the wedding, we decided to get rid of a whole heap of wedding decorations and we kept some to decorate this room. First thing was first, sorting through all the jars and flogging them off for $20 on the marketplace. I gave away a few decorations to friends that are getting married this year or next year and we're having a rustic theme as well. Once we got rid of all that, it was time to style these shelves that were now um, empty. I had to go around the house and pick up different bits and pieces and see what I thought would fit. Other than that, we still have a couple of things we're storing in this room, like the chairs and the cardboard box in the corner is um, curtains that we need to hold on to until we move out. I love this room. It's probably my favourite room in the house. I used to go past it like this, trying not to look at the mess that was in here, and now I just love walking in, looking around, sitting on the, my lovely couch. So there's a couple of things I still need to do. I'd love to get a solid timber television unit and I would also like to put some feet um, on this couch. Right now it doesn't have any feet on it and we're just sitting a little bit low. It's a little bit harder for people who have sore knees to get up from the couch. I hope you liked my video. If you enjoyed it, please like it. Uh, if you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe. I really appreciate your support and thank you so much for watching.